There's a bunch of norms that tell us what to do. Uh, traffic laws, for example, tell us how to drive. Uh, etiquette tells us how to behave at a fancy dinner table. And moral norms tell us how to behave towards others when the well-being of those others is concerned. The question that I want to focus on in this seminar that I personally find a fascinating question is whether there's also a norm or a set of norms that tell us how to believe. Now we believe a number of things, a great big number of things, uh, many things that we don't even know that we believe. I, for example, believe that I have hands, that number four is not the moon, and smoking is harmful, and so on. And we often tell each other that you shouldn't believe this or you should believe that, which means that we take our, our belief formation to be subject to certain norms. This is what the word should tells us. Now, the most natural norm that comes to mind when thinking about beliefs and belief formation is the norm of truth, namely that you should believe only what is true. But this can't be quite right because um, often we hold false beliefs that seem to be okay to hold and it's usually the case that our access to the world is mediated by the evidence that we have, which suggests another, perhaps a better norm, namely believe only what your evidence supports. Don't believe stuff just on wishful thinking or guesswork or something like that. No, it's only the evidence that matters when you believe something. But things are not quite as easy. Um, we don't care only about truth and evidence. We also care about whether our lives are going well. We also care about other people. And it can be the case that uh, sometimes it's better or more useful to hold false, false beliefs when we want to live a good life. Uh, there's a big amount of research that shows that hold, having positive illusions about one's intellectual or other abilities leads us to have a better life and be less depressed. And this means that having false beliefs about oneself leads us to have a better life. Now, this suggests that there are pragmatic or practical norms that sometimes can be in conflict with the evidential norm of belief. It's also the case that we, what we believe affects other people. And this means that there can be moral norms that also apply to beliefs. For example, if I believe that people from certain gender or race are less or more intelligent, it could be the case that these, some of these beliefs are true, but they still harm others. They still harm this gender or this race or something like that. It contributes to social injustice in a way. Um, and now the question is, if I know this and if I know that holding these beliefs harms others, then what should I do? Should I somehow bring myself not to believe them? But unfortunately, I can't choose beliefs like I choose Pepsi over Coke. Um, if I have evidence, then I'm somehow psychologically compelled to believe what the evidence supports. So should I somehow trick myself into believing something that the evidence doesn't support? Or should I then consciously avoid the evidence that is out there? This seems kind of odd. Um, it seems odd that when certain norms conflict with each other, we have to trick ourselves out of this situation. So in this seminar, uh, we'll try to figure out whether uh, there's a way to balance these norms that seem to be in conflict, or whether we are simply in our everyday lives at the mercy of norms that pull us in different directions.